These are six things to consider when choosing your loadout. Presented by Fortnite Master. This guide should give you an idea of how to choose the best weapons and items for your loadout in the current Fortnite meta. In this video, we talk about which weapons to look for in the early game, one of the best base loadouts in the current meta, and how to customize your loadout with weapons and items that fit your playstyle. Do note that the meta and loadout options will change as Epic updates the game, vaults old weapons, and adds new ones, so do remember that this video was made during patch 6.30. Early game loadouts are largely decided by RNG of which guns you land on, find on the floor, and open from chests. At this point, you're basically looking for any shotgun you can find and the best automatic or semi-automatic weapon available. This way, you have something to fight with at medium and close range, as well as a weapon to switch to after shooting your shotgun. Your playstyle in early skirmishes will change depending on what guns you find. For example, if you can't find a shotgun, you need to play around that by keeping your distance. If all you find is a sniper, you better be ready to hit some crazy quick scopes. After the initial landing phase in early skirmishes, you want to loot up and secure your base loadout. This could be considered the bare minimum loadout you want to find before leaving your landing spot. As the meta stands right now, the most commonly used base loadout includes an assault rifle, shotgun, and SMG. Assault rifles are unrivaled in terms of damage and mid-range accuracy, and the shotgun into SMG swap is widely considered one of the best combos for close quarter combat because of how much damage it can do in mere seconds. Of course, there isn't a single best loadout because some choices like which shotgun to use are simply a matter of preference. With the tactical shotgun, for example, you don't really need an SMG for a switch weapon because the tag has a much higher fire rate and a larger clip so you can just continue shooting it instead of switching to an SMG after one shot. And if you need to spray players at close range, then you still have an AR to take care of that job. You can use that extra slot where most players keep their SMG for a sniper or an explosive weapon, or choose to carry an extra utility or healing item. Another variation is just to forego the SMG altogether, regardless of shotgun. While many players would argue that a pump with no SMG puts you at a big disadvantage, there are some ways to compensate. One way is to just use your AR as a switch weapon instead of an SMG. Another, more difficult way is to build in between every shotgun shot to compensate for the pump and heavy shot's slow fire rate. Although this takes some skill, it isn't always an option depending on the situation. Yeah, dude, you clean it up. God damn. The ability to customize your loadout to fit your playstyle and preferences really takes hold when thinking about what to put in your fourth inventory slot. There are a lot of viable weapons and items that fit well in this slot, so you're going to have to decide which works best for you. Your first option is to carry another weapon. In this case, the fourth slot is usually reserved for weapons like snipers or explosives, including handheld explosives like clingers. Neither choice is strictly better, it just comes down to what you play best with. Both choices, however, prompt dramatically different playstyles, so take that into consideration when making the decision. Snipers make it possible to take pretty long-range engagements and dish out a ton of damage from afar, so long as you have a good shot. Well-placed rockets or grenades can put some insane pressure on enemies, giving you openings to push, take shots, or reposition. If you really like build fights and getting up close and personal with other players, you might want to try a movement item in this fourth slot, instead of another weapon. The grappler is extremely powerful for closing the gap on enemies, taking the high ground with no materials, and shifting the advantage in different fights. In this example, your fourth slot is more so meant to support your main three weapons, AR, Shoddy, and SMG, making it easier for you to use them effectively. Other movement and utility items like rift to goes Shockwaves, Boogie Bombs, and port of forts would fit in this fourth slot as well. You should almost always have healing items in your fifth slot, but you can also use your fourth slot to carry an additional healing item. You might want to do this if you find yourself taking a lot of damage, or you come across extra shields or healing at your landing spot. Personally, we would consider leaving bandages or a med kit for movement or utility. Extra shields are a little more valuable and might be worth taking as a secondary healing item. Your fifth slot should almost always be reserved for healing, unless you can't find any healing items. It's important to carry at least one healing item, because otherwise you're relying on killing other players that are also carrying healing or shields, which adds an unneeded element of RNG. You likely won't have many engagements where you're taking zero damage. If you absolutely can't find any healing items, you can just use this slot for an extra movement or utility item. Beyond the standard base loadout, there are certain item combinations that go really well together and might change your decisions when building your loadout. 
The Double Barrel and Grappler is a frighteningly strong combination in the right hands. The Double Barrel does a lot of damage, but only when you're essentially barrel stuffing your opponent. The Grappler is a perfect complement to the Double Barrel, making it way easier to get into extreme close quarters. The Pumper Heavy Shotgun with a Deagle is also a scary combination, and opens the door for a handful of unique and interesting plays. After the recent buffs to the Deagle's structure damage, it's become a great gun for both damage and utility. Now it one-shots any wood builds as well as any newly built brick or metal builds, allowing for some unique ways to quickly shoot out enemies and counter turtling. Not to mention, switching back and forth between Pump and Deagle feels like the closest thing to a double pump since the shotgun delay was added. Thank you all for watching this video. On the right, you can watch another guide made by us. On the left, hover over the Fortnite Master icon to subscribe. Finally, comment down below which guide you want to see next. From over here at Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One, and we're out. Peace.